What's the word, people? It's your boy John back at you with another reaction video. This is another one from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Dennis and D are on the same team, part one. Of course, they're going to be on the same team. They're twins, but at the same time, they definitely hate each other, man. <laughs> they definitely hate each other. But hey, it is what it is family rivalry. They always going to have each other back at the end of the day, right? Let's go ahead and get straight into this video, though. Let's go. Here's how it's going to work. Two of you are going to dig while two of you rest. And oh, not the McCoy. I volunteer to rest first. That's bullshit. You can't volunteer to rest. Oh, really? Well, you can be on my team if you want, but my team rests first because I called it. All right, great. Then it's settled. I'm on your team. We'll rest first. Charlie and Mac, you dig. <laughs> we have a lot of interesting things to say, so, you know. Oh, shit. Well, I feel like the conversation we've been having in the last five minutes is a lot more interesting than the shit they're talking about on the radio. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Just moronic commentary and stupid sound effects, and it's just dumb. It doesn't make any sense. Well, we have voices. We talk about the issues, you know? I feel like we could do a podcast, and it would be a million times better than whatever that drivel was we were listening to. Without a doubt. Look at this girl. Wait, wait, wait. What's her story? She's got a decent bone structure. She was probably very pretty when she was young. Yeah. Probably spent her summers here, lounging on the beach and scooping ice cream. <laughs> she didn't want her right summers to end, face. so she got herself yeah. a fake ID and a push-up bra and started hanging out at the local bars. Right. Developed a nasty coke habit because she loved the way it made her feel. Mm -hmm. and extreme highs gave way to extreme lows, and she fell into a depression. Had herself a kid. Mm. Thought it would give her a sense of purpose, and it did for a while until she started using again. Mm-hmm. And then social services came knocking at the door. Now the kid lives upstate with his grandparents because she can't take care of this kid. And here she is festering away in a one-bedroom apartment Ugh. waiting for the HIV to turn into AIDS. Oh. And wondering, oh. I don't know I can hear you, right? Hey, pal. How, how are you feeling? <laughs> it hurts everywhere. Well? Well, it, everything's going to be okay. You don't know that, Deanna. Shut up, mother. I don't think we should be lying. Yo. For the little time the mother was on the show, she was bogus. I mean, she was terrible. So I can understand how come these two ended up the way that they did. <laughs> she was so bogus. Children. I was trying to be encouraging. Well, what if he doesn't get better? You're gonna look like a fool. Mom, I gotta say I agree with Dee. I mean, the kid's gonna die anyway. What difference does it make? I can hear you. How's it going over there in your uh, deserted mine shaft or whatever? Oh, it's pretty sweet here. Okay. It's very private. Probably way more private than your piece of shit pool. Really? Huh. I doubt that. You know. Is that Mexican music? Oh, the music. Yeah, uh, you know that's it's. You know what it is? It's one of the attendants. He's walking around with. A ghetto blaster serving us drinks and just making us comfortable giving us hats. I, I, this unemployment thing is so great because we've made really big plans. <laughs> I'm gonna be a veterinarian. Yeah, and I am gonna move to New York and I'm gonna be on Broadway. Mm. What? It's one o'clock in the afternoon and you're piss ass drunk. Well, you know, it's a slow process, man. Yeah, you know, I always drunk around time. that time. What's the, the difference system? now? You're busting my ass in that bar. You guys are sitting on the stoop getting drunk all day long? <laughs> I don't know how to take advantage of government programs. Right? You know what I'm concerned about? I don't want to get too bulky. Right. I want to stay nice and lean and tight. I want to get that Jesus on the cross look. I see you know what you're what I mean? saying. I think that crucifixion must have been really good for your core. Because... Oh, absolutely. Jesus had like oh, the best man. idea. He had the right idea. Oh, hey, he knew no pain, no gain. He had good messages. I'm sure he started that. Mm -hmm. And this is getting a hand job. Seriously? In the back. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Well, guess what? I just tried myself <laughs> for most phone numbers in one day. Nine. Nine? Nine. Come on. What? What do you Six think? Six strawberry margaritas, please. Uh, you know. Hey, listen, ladies, this is my sister. Notice how disgustingly skinny she is. Isn't it weird? Oh my gosh, you're like crack skinny. Oh, okay. Yeah, she throws up That's all the time. Oh my god, I just got done. Maybe you should turn this techno music down. Yeah, I gotta be <laughs> honest, buddy. I'm not really feeling these tunes. Boom, there we go. Oh, oh what, what are you doing? Uh, I'm rifling through your music. And it's pretty terrible. You know what? Put it down. Does he have any 80s? Doesn't appear to. No, it seems like he's got a bunch of uh, goddamn dance mixes. Whoa, well, hang on. It's all good. I got a Steve Winwood CD in my car. I'll just go out and grab Listen, that. Listen, don't, don't, don't do that. Please don't do that. Why? What's wrong with Steve Winwood? Yeah, man. Higher love? It's classic. Listen, I put the music in this class, okay? Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. I apologize. Oh. I, I had no idea that this was all about you. First of all, I don't think you should even be here. You just had a heart attack, man. 
Well, maybe you shouldn't dress like a bumblebee, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got dog, bro. He's got dog. Guys, please leave my class. All right. I'm going to slit throats. Nice. Dennis and Dee Reynolds here. Inaugural podcast. We're talking technology today. The big T. Absolutely. Everyone's talking about technology these days because it's everywhere. Oh, it is. You can't escape it. You absolutely can. So, Dee, tell us what you feel about technology. How, how do you, what's your opinion on it? <laughs> Dead air. Diaper time. <laughs> what the? Diaper time. Oh man, that's weird. That's really weird. Congratulations, guys. You're famous. What? When you become a veterinarian, will you buy me headshots, please? Hey, hey, get out of here, you piece of shit! <laughs> yeah, I'll buy you stuff. I'll buy you lots of things. I'm definitely gonna buy a bunch of crack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I look hey, good. I feel good. I feel good too, apart from the recent bouts of explosive diarrhea. Oh, you've been having diarrhea? Oh God, all over the place. Really? You know what that is? That's probably your body flushing out all the toxins. You think so? I do think so. Yeah, yeah. I, on the other hand, have not taken a shit in days. Days? Days. That doesn't sound good. Oh, no, it's good. My body's working at 100% efficiency. Yeah. My body is absorbing every single nutrient and it's not wasting a single thing. Your body's taking its job very seriously. My body is doing its job like it's never done before. You flinch, you lose. Here we go. <sighs> Didn't win. Sorry. Right, nothing. Not all right. even a. All right, can I? <laughs> Oh, oh, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Whoa. Nice. Wait for it. Wait for it. Then it's a psychopath. Keep some crates. G. We'll be taking this card. Jeez, I'm crow. Here she comes. All right, this is the fun part, Dean. This is the part that we've been working up to. This is what all the work has been for. And we're going to follow our victim. Uh -huh. Okay, then we're going to jump her. And then I'm going to strangle her, and you're going to chop her into pieces. <laughs> okay, but what are we really going to do? Huh? We're not really going to kill her. What are we going to do? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. That's a bummer. Yeah, you're right. Okay, you know, really? let, let's just follow her for a little while, okay? We'll throw a good scare into her, figure out what to do later. Oh, that's just not as much fun as no. actually getting to... No, I know. Well, let's go. It's good enough. Let's do this. You know, we, we, we'll just go back to work for a little while. Just for a little while. Man, they look terrible, man. And then we'll go on welfare, and I'll go be a star. And then I can be a veterinarian of some kind. Maybe we should think about rehab. We should hit rehab as soon as possible. Pretty soon. In a couple days. Yeah. Not now. What, what are you doing? Get down! No, I'm trying to make the TV go. Well, you are standing on top of a rolling chair. You're gonna go flying through that window for God's sakes. Will you get down? I'm serious. All you right, get all down, right, all right, all right. Oh, my. What are you thinking? Well, I'm trying to watch my stories, okay? I have a very specific birth plan, and mostly it involves me watching my stories okay. to relax, but I can't get this goddamn TV to well, do that. Nothing. What are you? Are you? <laughs> no, get off! I'm mad. Stop straining yourself. Go lie down. Lie down now. Oh, God, this is exactly what I was worried about, Dee. You see, I'm going to have to do everything because you're an irresponsible person who stands atop uh, rolling chairs and, and chooses to go flying through windows. Uh, have the baby first. Have the stupid baby. Then go flying through all the windows you like. Oh, my. Just lie there. Wait for the doctor. I will get your stories. Oh, God, this baby is becoming such an irritating thing to me. Yeah. God, what an irritating thing babies are. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to do everything. I'll figure you out, you son of a bitch. Leather shop in Arizona? Are you serious? There are far too many leather shops in Arizona as it is. You would be out of business in a week's time. Wait, what's going on with Mac and John? I, it's, I can't get them to stay focused. They keep escalating the conversation into evil curses and opening leather shops in Arizona. A leather shop in Arizona? Yeah. Well, they'd be out of business in a week's time. That's exactly what I said. Well, who is the garbage pail cousin? Gail the snail is the no, garbage no, pail cousin. Oh, Charlie, she is the worst. We'd have these family parties and she'd just glob on to me and Dennis. Oh, she, we couldn't get rid of her. The only way to get rid of her was to torture her, and that's what we did. Yeah, we'd throw her in the dryer. We'd throw salt on her. <laughs> we'd throw her yeah, in the dryer. Salt on we'd throw salt on her. Snail. Mm -hmm, get yeah, it? you throw salt on a snail and... It's supposed to shrivel up. up. Well, that sounds a little messed up, though, huh? <laughs> you don't think we're proud of that, do you? Charlie, you don't understand. That's the only way you could handle her. Yeah, she made us do those things, and quite frankly, I resent her for it. What, what kind of a person salts another human being? <laughs> there was no joy 
insulting someone, everyone loses. Psychopath, you know, that's, that's what we do value, that. You know, it's not. some sound effects. Well, don't. Okay, well. Okay, so stem cell research, stop doing that. Stem cell research is a very... Why are you still put... Don't stop pushing sound effects. I want to talk about... Which one is that one? This one. It's a laser beam. Yeah. <laughs> I like that you one. You like that one? Yeah, I want to pepper that one in. Okay. And the best part of it, actually, for me now is the fact that everybody thinks that I've been molested. So, in, in a way, my life is ruined. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go in the back office and cry and cry and cry and drink for a while. Emotional release. Another giant step forward. God, we're good. Doctor? Doctor? Why don't we up the supplements, which we know work, and eliminate working out, which we know blows? That sounds like a pretty good plan. You know what? I'm going to take it one step further and propose that we start working on a muscle that we've been neglecting this entire time. And it's the most important muscle in the entire body. Which muscle? The face. That's a gift for you, Bumblebee. Come on. Enjoy it, Coach Dick and Balls. <laughs> which ones are the worst out of this whole crew or even the side people that be coming on I just don't understand who is the worst out of all of them man these are some terrible crazy nasty people man really really are if you want me to go ahead and do part 2 you see it on the screen go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll definitely do that for y'all make sure you like and subscribe and I'm going to holler at y'all later peace <laughs>